Welcome inside Waterbury Career Academy for tonight's big NVL matchup between the WCA Spartans and the Holy Cross Crusaders. I'm Tom Felice and I'll have all the action for you as the Spartans who stand at 5-1 undefeated, 5-0 in the NVL, host the Holy Cross Crusaders. They are ranked number 10 in the latest game time CT New Haven Register poll, undefeated 6-0. They are also 5-0 in the NVL. This game is going to go a long way to determining who wins the NVL and the Brass Division this year. Right now there are four undefeated teams in the Brass Division. Kennedy, Willoughby, Holy Cross, and Waterbury Career Academy will be playing at Crosby tonight and they host Kennedy on Wednesday. Holy Cross, I should say Waterbury Career Academy and Willoughby face off next Friday. And Kennedy plays Holy Cross next Friday. So a lot of things will be decided in the coming week. You heard the starting lineups for WCA. Zaire Lott, Sonny Pierce, Jason Kennedy, Dasani Yates, and Drew Williams is Elijah Parker, the leading scorer for Holy Cross. Gets Crusaders on the board right away with his first two. He's joined by Peyton Mullins, Joe Dane, Nate Muniz and Duran Fordham. 
This is Pierce. Up top, Drew Williams from the right side. Williams, no, Yates got a piece of the rebound and Mullins came away with it for Holy Cross. 30 seconds in, the Crusaders up 2-0. Mullins to Parker. Parker just a sophomore, averaging almost 23 points per game. All-state last year. Gets it to Nate Munez. And here's Deron Fordham, back to Munez. And now Parker on the right wing. An offensive foul called away from the ball. And it's Nate Muniz, the six foot six junior, who is called for the foul. There's no one on WCA who can match his height. Dasani Yates is 6'2. Zaire Lot 6'3. So if WCA can get Muniz in foul trouble, that will help them out a lot. Pierce. There's Lott up top, Kennedy. Picks up his dribble. Lott for three, too strong. Parker with the rebound. Quick pass up Nate Muniz. Drives baseline, finds Fordham, and he finishes from the left side. First points for Fordham, who has missed the past two games. Back today, right back into the starting lineup. He played a minute and 40 seconds. It's 4-0 Holy Cross. Sonny Pierce lost the dribble, but it was deflected. Spartans will inbound underneath the hoop. Here's Drew Williams for Waterbury Career Academy. Now Lott. Back to Drew Williams. Uses the screen from Yates. Kennedy, facing a 2-3 zone. Lot with a long three, short. Good rebound for Fordham up ahead. Mullins with the lay-in from the right side. First six points to Holy Cross. Played two minutes, 15 seconds so far. Tom Felice with you here at Waterbury Career Academy. There's a three, Sonny Pierce. Third on the team in scoring, just shy of 16 points a game, opens the scoring in this one, and a foul called on Dasani Yates. Officials ruling that he forced Elijah Parker toward the baseline. His first team's first. Two and a half in, 6-3, Holy Cross. Kennedy with a takeaway. And WCA will maintain possession as it was last touched by Holy Cross. WCA coached by Ronan O'Leary in his eighth season on the bench, approaching 100 wins. Ryan Olson in his seventh season at Holy Cross. He just eclipsed 100 wins earlier this year. Kennedy spins with the left hand floater. Jason Kennedy. Five straight points for WCA, and they're back within one. 6-5, Holy Cross. Just reaching three minutes gone by. Very anticipated matchup. And that's a giveaway to Ron Fordham. Missed his man. The pass ended up out of bounds. Williams. Now Lott for three. Off front iron, Parker grabs the rebound, ends up on the deck, no foul, it's a travel. Inbounds, pass kicked. So nothing will change, same inbound position. He goes to Yates. And he misses. Yates with a good chance at the rim. Mullins off back iron. Lot with the rebound. Can't hold on. This is Parker. Kennedy touched it last. Stays with Holy Cross. Fordham wide open three. 
Five points now for Duran Fordham as he was left alone on that baseline inbounds play. 4.15 to go in the first quarter. Kennedy's pass taken away. Parker running ahead, it's blocked. Oh, they're gonna get a foul. But Jason Kennedy took two points off the board. His first foul, the team's second. And Parker will head to the line for two. Parker was 14 of 17 at the line against Crosby early in the season. Comes up short here. First sub of the game. Kevin Matisse replaces Joe Dane. Matisse, a 5'11 senior, as Parker missed them both. Drew Williams. Now Lott, corner three. In and out. Kennedy the rebound. Finds Drew Williams. Pierce. Drew Williams for three. Short, Yates with the rebound. Drops it off for Lott, who finishes from the left side. First points for Zaire Lott. WCA back within two, 9-7 Holy Cross. Three and a half to go in the first. Fordham, too strong on that shot. Pierce from the free throw line. Off front rim, bounces back to Pierce and he loses it. Long pass for Mullins who leaked out ahead. It's the second time he's done that. And Mullins now has four points. Five minutes in, 11-7 Holy Cross leads WCA. Matchup of two teams undefeated in the league. Drew Williams, now Kennedy. Pulls up, 4-3. Off back iron, battle for the board. Fordham grabs it. Long pass for M Munez. Now back to Fordham. Holy Cross hits the shot from Mullins. Munez the offensive rebound, no on the putback. Fordham has it. WCA still getting organized on defense. It has not hurt them yet in this possession. 2.15 to play in the first. 11-7 Crusaders. Parker, 4-3. That's good. Five points now for Parker. Seven-point lead for Holy Cross with two minutes to play in the first quarter. The largest lead so far. Williams can't hit underneath. And it's Parker who comes away with it. Quick pass to bed, Mullins uses the pump fake. Matisse, Parker, fouled. Foul is on Drew Williams, his first, team's third. Dylan Rossi comes into the game, replacing Dasani Yates. Rossi, a 6'1 sophomore. So he had some muscle in the middle. Edwin Robertson as well for Holy Cross as Parker banks in a three. He has eight, the lead for Holy Cross is 10, 17-7. Minute 20 remaining in the first quarter. Drew Williams dribbles off his own foot, gets it back, the floater is good. First basket for Williams. One minute to go in the quarter, 17-9, Holy Cross leading WCA. Parker, now Roberts. Pass behind Matisse. Jordan Gunthrop into the game. Mullins heads to the bench. 
WCA has very good players. They're not that deep. They'll get a couple of guys off the bench. Their top four scorers average almost 15 points a game. As this is a foul called against Rossi. Four players for WCA average 14.8 points per game or more. But besides that, no one else on the team has had double digits in a single game so far. This is game number seven for the Spartans. 20 seconds in the quarter. Roberts, baseline, hits the floater. He's coming off a season high 14 points. Seven seconds in the period. Drew Williams, Kennedy for three. That's off, rebound for Holy Cross. And that's the end of the first quarter. Good first quarter for the Holy Cross Crusaders. They lead WCA 19-9 after one. Well, we're getting ready to start the second quarter. I think there's a question of which team should have the ball. And the officials determine it will be WCA. They were getting ready to give it to Holy Cross. Instead, it will be the Spartans with it. This is a matchup both teams have circled on their calendar. Of course, the players know each other very well. And they knew what kind of teams each other had this year. Holy Cross has come out of the gate very well, leading by 10 at the start of the second period. Here's Jason Kennedy from the right elbow. No. Zaire so Lott with the rebound and the putback. He's got four. WCA into double digits. 19-11. Holy Cross leading 30 seconds into the second quarter. This is Matisse. Pass underneath. Tipped, saved. Zach Blaschke has it. Matisse, top of the key, three is good. Matisse coming off the season high, seven points in the win over Wolkett on Tuesday. Parker, long pass. Here's Gunthrop, now Blaschke finds Roberts. Can't hit. Long pass ahead, Drew Williams. Williams hits. He's got four, and it'll be a stoppage in play as Edwin Roberts limps off the court. Nate Munez replaces him. Elijah Parker walks it up. Leads the game with eight points. Holy Cross undefeated 6-0. 10 in the most recent media poll. Foul on Zaire Lott. Fifth team foul, first for Lott. WCA 5-1. One of the most talented teams in school history. Trying to put it all together. 
Last year, they beat Holy Cross in the first round of the league tournament then lost undefeated Naugatuck in the semifinals. Got one win in the state tournament. Beating Darianne, then they lost to Bassick. It's a team that hasn't been to the quarterfinals of the state tournament since 2017. WCA is in Division Three this year. And they know they have potential to fit in right there as Matisse hits another jumper. The average is 4.8 points per game. He's got five. And we played just 10 minutes. 24-13, Holy Cross, six minutes to play in the first half. Pierce hits the deck hard as he's fouled. Foul is on Gunthrop. Just the second team foul for Holy Cross. WC was trying to get that into a shooting foul, but it is not, so they will inbound from the baseline. As I'm sure you can see, this gym is packed. Not much room for anybody else at Waterbury Career Academy tonight. Here's Kennedy. Now Williams. Pierce picks up his dribble. Zaire Lott, shot is blocked. Blaschke grabs it. Parker can't hit. Munez, short on the putback. Loose ball grabbed by Drew Williams of WCA. Now Kennedy, and the Spartans can set things up in the half court. Drew Williams with the floater. Six points now for Drew Williams. 24-15, Holy Cross in front of WCA. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. Offensive foul. Away from the ball. Zach Blaschke, I believe is the one called for the foul. Uh, the confusion here. Oh, the official pointed the wrong way. It's a foul on WCA. So they call the foul on Zaire a lot. That is his second. Team sixth. So it's Holy Cross ball. Exactly five minutes to go in the first half. Inbounds pass for Matisse. Munez in the corner. That's good. First points for Nate Munez. 27-15, 12 point lead, the largest of the game for Holy Cross. Williams loses his dribble. Matisse out of there with it. And Jordan Gunthrop hits. Timeout called by Ronan O'Leary. It'll be a full timeout. As Holy Cross leads WCA 29-15, 434 remaining in the first half. Everything going Holy Cross's way right now. They're making their shots from deep, getting second chances, keeping WCA off the offensive glass. WCA was pushed on Tuesday. They played Torrington. They were up by as much as 20, ended up winning by three. Torrington made a lot of three-pointers in that one. Holy Cross has made five threes so far tonight. And we're still in the middle of the second quarter. You see, it was tested early in the season. They went down to Danbury. And only lost by three to the Danbury Hatters. Danbury now number six in the latest media poll. They are 5-0 and oh on the season. They play an undefeated team, New Canaan, tonight. It's a night of big games across the state. Number one, East Catholic is at number three, Windsor. 
mentioned will be at Crosby, a big one here in the city. On the girls' side, number one plays number two, Hamden and Hand. Number three, Sacred Heart Academy is at number five, Mercy. This is Drew Williams. Second chance, no. Third chance, Lott is fouled. And Zaire Lott will head to the free throw line. Call the foul on Jordan Gunthrop. That is his second team's third. Zaire Lott makes the first free throw. First time WCA has been to the line tonight. One of two for a lot. Williams got a piece of it and stepped on the sideline. Chance for the steal, but Williams, the shoe the size too big to keep that ball in bounds. This is Gunthrop. Now Matisse. Yates tips it away. He slips, finds Williams, who's fouled. Foul is on Matisse. That is his first, team's fourth. Drew Williams shooting two. Williams a leading scorer so far. Six points for WCA's Williams. He misses the first. Fordham, Parker, and Dane check back in. Second free throw coming here for Williams. Makes the second. So he hits one of two. Lead is back to 12 for Holy Cross. 29 17, 340 remaining first half. Parker leads all scores. He has eight. Parker uses the Munoz screen into the lane. Finds Dane, now Mullins. Fordham. Fordham through contact with the left hand. No rebound tipped to Sonny Pierce. Jason Kennedy spins through contact. No good. Put back. Drew Williams. He's got nine. It's a ten-point game as... That shot falls off for Munez. And the ball stays, the ball goes back to WCA. Hustle play from Drew Williams to steal a possession. Kevin Matisse replaces Nate Munez for Holy Cross. The Crusaders up 29-19, 2.45 to go in the first half. WCA looking to get back to single digits. Foul away from the ball. I think it's going to be Matisse for being a little aggressive going through a screen. It'll be his second foul, team's fifth. Zach Blaschke will replace Matisse. So he has two fouls. Gunthrop has two fouls. Neither of them starters for Holy Cross. Here's Kennedy. Now Yates. It's not his game out there. He finds Williams. Long three. That's good. Drew Williams. He's got 12. It's a 7-0 run for WCA. Fordham, too strong. Williams, the rebound, and he's fouled. Call that foul on Parker, it looks like. 
Yep, that was on Elijah Parker, his first team's fifth. The lead that was 14 just a couple minutes ago is down to seven, so two minutes remaining in the first half. Williams, Yates, hands it off Kennedy. Kennedy drives from the left side, throws it up. It's taken in by Dane, and a foul called against WCA. Call a foul on Kennedy, that'll be his second, team seventh. So it'll be the one and one with Joe Dane stepping to the free throw line. Dane yet to score tonight. Averages 3.8 a game. Aiden Cross replaces Kennedy. So Kennedy with two fouls heads to the bench. Lott is still on the floor. He has two fouls for WCA. Shot rolls out. Spartans go to the rack again, and Pierce will head to the free throw line. That was on Joe Dane, his first team's seventh. So both teams will be in the one and one. This will be two shots though, as Pierce was in the act of shooting. Pierce makes the first. Second one bounces out. WCA comes away with it. Cross. Now Pierce with the right hands. No, and Parker's there for the board. Quick outlet, Mullins. His shot is rejected, and Yates grabs it. Drew Williams. Now Cross. Corner three. No. Munez the rebound for Holy Cross. John Throp to the hole, kicks it out, Mullins a three. That's short. Rebound for Sonny Pierce, a minute to play in the first half. Holy Cross up by six, Holy Cross up by four as Sonny Pierce scores it. This is a 10-0 run for the Spartans and they're back in this game, final 40 seconds of the first half. Fordham short on the three. 33 seconds to go in the half. WCA content to slow things down. Get the last shot if they can. Sonny Pierce with the ball in his hands. Now Drew Williams, 15 seconds in the half. 10 seconds. Yates called for an offensive foul. He just leaned in a little bit. Holy Cross player certainly made sure that the contact occurred. And Yates will head to the bench. That's his second foul. Since the player control foul, it's not free throws. 6.3 seconds to go in the half. Here's Parker. He bullies his way into the lane, loses the ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Holy Cross. 1.7 seconds to go in the half. Four point Holy Cross lead. Mullins throws it out deep. A three ball from Roberts is short. And we head to halftime with Holy Cross leading WCA. 29-25. WCA ends the first half on a 10-0 run to keep this one close at the break. We'll step aside and be back for the second half from Waterbury. Just a reminder everyone, uh, tonight's 
Sisters, Noe, Thompson, and Lindsey Jim, who are out for the night. Also, please stay off the court in between corners and during the match. Thank you very much.
Teams heading back onto the court for the start of the second half here in Waterbury. Holy Cross leads Waterbury Career Academy 29-25 at the start of the third quarter. Drew Williams with 12 points to lead all scores for WCA. Elijah Parker, eight points for Holy Cross. Holy Cross with the first six points of the game and they've led the entire way. The WCA ended the first half on a 10-0 run to get back within four. That's where we stand starting the second half. Nate Munez for three. Off back iron, rebound is tipped out to Drew Williams. Fully ahead, Zaire Lott. Now Sonny Pierce. Kennedy for three. Off front iron, Munez grabs the rebound, but he loses it out of bounds, and it'll stay with WCA. Lot for three. Banks it home. His first three. WCA is back within one. 13-0 run now for the Spartans. 29-28 Holy Cross. 7-15 to play in the third. Parker. Takes a three. Off back iron. Kennedy the rebound. Chance for WCA to take their first lead of the day. With the left hand, no. Rebound is tipped. Munez with it. Now Fordham for Holy Cross. Offensive foul. Sonny Pierce, the senior captain, stepping in to draw the charge. First foul on Darone Fordham. Team's first of the second half. 29-28 Holy Cross, 6.50 to go in the third quarter. Williams, now Kennedy. This is Sonny Pierce in the lane with the right hand, yes! For the first time today, WCA has the lead, 30-29. They're on a 15-0 run. Nunez, now Fordham who finishes. Seven points now for Fordham. Holy Cross back in front. 31-30 Holy Cross. Minute 50 into the second half. Williams sees the pass at the last minute, is able to grab it. Elijah Parker knocked it out of bounds. It stays with the Spartans. WCA in white, Holy Cross in the familiar road greens. Here's Williams with the right hand, no. Joe Dane comes away with it, stolen. Jason Kennedy, pull up, three. No good, and Fordham grabs the rebound. His arm was hit. They call a foul on WCA. It's on Drew Williams, that is his second, the team's first. Osahan Obasuyi checks in for the first time for Holy Cross. Full court press from WCA. And Zaire Lott is called for a touch foul. 80 feet from the basket. Third foul on Lott, second of the second half for the Spartans. They keep the press Intact, it's a one, two, one, one, full court press. Peyton Mullen steps into a three, off back iron. WCA runs with Pierce to Williams. 14 points now for Williams. As we're back and forth with the lead, Williams knocks it away from behind. This is locked. With the right hand, no, but he was fouled. Mullins commits the foul, his first team second of the second half. And Zaire Lott will head to the free throw line after a 30 second timeout called by Holy Cross. WCA leads Holy Cross 32 31, 522 to go in the third quarter. This is the first time today 
WC is in the lead. Holy Cross led by 14 points, a 29-15. WC answered a 15-0 run. They took their first lead at 30-29. Back-to-back hoops here. Now it's 32-31. Since the end of the first quarter, Holy Cross has only scored 12 points. 23 points for Career Academy in that same span, with Lott heading to the free throw line. He'll have two shots here. He was one of two his only time to the line earlier tonight. Lott led the team with 23 points on Wednesday. 32 point win over Naugatuck. Second free throw for Lott, that's good. He's in double digits, 10 points now for Zaire Lott. It's the largest lead of the day for WCA at three points, 34-31, as they get a piece of that. It'll stay with Holy Cross. Now they have to inbound it from a tough spot along the sideline. 240 into the second half. Parker, double teamed in the backcourt, gets out of it, has to pick up his dribble. Gets it across court to Mullins, just gets it across the half line in time. Out of bounds, stays with Holy Cross. Spartans doing a good job on the defensive end, really pestering Holy Cross from the backcourt, not letting them get easy shots in the front court. Edwin Roberts with it. Now Peyton Mullins. Roberts to Fordham. Tipped away. Drew Williams ahead of the pack. Williams blocked from behind. That's Fordham with it. Yates grabs it. Now Pierce. Lot. Four. Three. Good, Zaire Lott. Six point lead for WCA. And the defense gets a turnover. They forced a bad pass. And the Spartans will take over. 4.31 to go in the second quarter. This is a 22-2 run for WCA. Elijah Parker closely guarding the inbound. It's Lott from deep. Off front iron. Parker there for the board for Holy Cross. Mullins. Munez drives baseline, loses his dribble. It bounced off of Yates. Pierce. Yes, from the left side. He's in double digits with 10. Timeout, Holy Cross. WCA on top of Holy Cross. 4-12 to play in the third. What a turnaround in this game. It was 29-15. About halfway through the second quarter. Now it's 39-31 WCA. 24-2 24-2 run as to switch this game. Capacity crowd loving it. The WCA defense really getting things going. And this is a chance to really make a statement for the Spartans. Coach Ronan O'Leary thinks this is one of the best, if not the most talented teams he's ever had here at WCA. And this would be a statement win. Holy Cross is undefeated, 6-0, 5-0 in the NVL. WCA 5-1, they're only lost to Danbury, a top 10 team. They are also undefeated so far in the Naugatuck Valley League season. Parker, now Roberts, 
Munez back to Roberts, no. Rebound loose, Yates with it for WCA. Just one hoop in four minutes in the second half for Holy Cross. 39-31 WCA lead. 340 remaining third quarter. Here's Pierce to a cutting Zaire Lott. Lott cut off along the baseline. Back to Pierce. Yates got his hand on the rebound. It was knocked out of it by Holy Cross player. And it stays with WCA as Kevin Matisse checks back in. Nate Munez heads to the bench. Lock from the corner. Matisse the rebound. Finds Roberts with the left-handed layup. Second hoop for Edwin Roberts. Back to a six-point game. WCA 39, Holy Cross 33, 3.10 to go in the third. Williams, Lott, and now Yates. Yates leaves it for Drew Williams. Williams to the hole, wild shot off the backboard. Matisse comes away with it. His pass is too far ahead of Edwin Roberts. Unforced error by Holy Cross. And the Spartans take over again. Aiden Cross comes in. He'll replace Drew Williams. Next whistle, Jordan Gunthrop and Joe Dane will check in for Holy Cross. Three from the corner, no. Offensive rebound. It was Cross with the offensive rebound. Now Pierce uses the screen, pulls up. Fordham rips the rebound away and is able to find Peyton Mullins. Long pass ahead, Matisse. And a big foul, and Matisse went down hard. He might have landed on his tailbone. And Matisse still on the deck. Foul is on to Sonny Yates. That is his third, team's third. Matisse putting his hand on his lower back. 2.19 to go in the third. 39-33, WCA in front of Holy Cross. Matisse is back on his feet. Gets a high five from Aiden Cross as he limps to the bench. A little confusion as to who will shoot the free throw since the player who has fouled Matisse subbed out with the injury. Ryan Olson making sure that he gets Jordan Gunthrop to the line. And Gunthrop misses the first. Drew Williams checking back in. He'll take out Aiden Cross. Holy Cross yet to hit a free throw tonight. They are 0 of 4. 1 of 5 as Gunthrop scores his first point on the second free throw. Five point Waterbury Career Academy lead. 2.15 remaining in the third. Kennedy. Spins in the lane with a left hand shot short. It was not touched as it goes out of bounds over the end line. Chance to set up the full court press for WCA, and they get a piece of it. But at last touched a Spartan. It will be Holy Cross ball. Now they have to inbound it on the sideline, right in front of the Career Academy bench. Not an easy place to inbound it. See a bit of a pause as Matisse 
He's walking back to the locker room. Roberts. Gunthrop. Just kept in the forecourt. Elijah Parker. He's been quiet. He hasn't scored since the first quarter as Joe Dane scores his first two points of the day. Now a three-point game, 39-36. Minute and a half to go in the third quarter. WCA on top. This is Kennedy. Now Drew Williams. Zaire Locke. Williams, right-hand floater, bounces off. And the foul called. If it's on Yates, that's four. It is on Yates. So Dylan Rossi replaces Yates, who has committed four fouls. Now 14 fouls in the second half. So Holy Cross has the ball trailing by three. 105 to go in the third. Runthrop three, no. Williams the board. High pass for Lott, kept in bounds, and a foul called. It's gonna be a shooting foul. With Drew Williams heading to the line. Parker committed the foul. There was a block from behind. The foul puts Williams at the line. First one good for Williams. He has 15 points to lead all scorers. Two of three from the striper now, too. Second one bounces off, and Joe Dane gets the rebound. Coach O'Leary tried to get a sub in between free throws, just a little late. Now with the second miss, they were not able to get the change. Four point lead for WCA, 40 seconds to go, third quarter. Dane, now Parker. Parker drives baseline into traffic, traveled. Now he took an extra step as that defense held strong for WCA as Zaire Etzin checked in and he took out Rossi. So there's really nobody big on the court. Lot the biggest player, but he's not an interior type. 20 seconds now in the quarter. This is Lot to Pierce. Corner three, Kennedy partially blocked. Kept inbounds by Holy Cross. Blaschke loses it. Six seconds in the quarter. Williams. Gets it back, takes the three, yes! Drew Williams beats the buzzer, and Waterbury Career Academy leads by seven, heading to the fourth period, 
WCA starts the fourth quarter with the ball. And a seven point lead after Drew Williams hit a buzzer beater to end the third. And now it's Sonny Pierce with the shot to make it a nine point lead. Pierce now has 12 for WCA. This is Fordham along the baseline. Drops it off for Munez. Parker steps into a three. Parker Mullins, I should say. Peyton Mullins steps into a three. Loose ball, put back. No, it's tipped. And WCA comes away with it. Lot along the baseline. Makes the reverse. 15 points now for a lot, and WCA is up double digits, 47-36, as Munez blocked at the rim. They'll get Williams with a foul, but he kept Munez from throwing it down. Third foul for Williams, fifth of the second half for the team. Munez at the line for the first time tonight. And he makes his first. At one point in the second quarter, Holy Cross was up 29-15. They only scored seven in that span. Now eight, WCA has scored 32. Totally flipped this game with 6.57 to go. After Munez makes both free throws, it's 47-38 WCA. That was Kennedy in the lane. Parker comes away with it. You don't want him to get hot as he scores his first points since the first quarter right there. Now a seven point lead for WCA. Minute 30 gone by, fourth quarter. Lock from the baseline, too strong. Dane kept the rebound in bounds. Here's Elijah Parker. Gun throw. Peyton Mullins on the left wing, orchestrating the offense. Wants to find Parker. Now Fordham, three from the corner, gun throw. His first field goal, seven straight points to start the quarter for Holy Cross. All right, four point lead, 47-43 Career Academy on top of Holy Cross. 5.35 to go, Lot short on the three. Dane with the board. Mullins, no. Kennedy got a piece of the rebound, couldn't corral it. Goes out of bounds. Dasani Yates comes back in. He has four fouls. Calculated risk by Coach O'Leary with five and a half minutes to play. Here's Parker. Deron Fordham. Gunthrop again. Back to back threes for the sophomore Jordan Gunthrop. One point game, 47 46. 10 0 Holy Cross run. And now a steal. Mullins high off glass. No. Drew Williams with the rebound. Three on two. Lock. Corner three. Bounces off the front rim. Williams, the offensive rebound. Fouled on the putback attempt. Foul against Peyton Mullins, his second, team's third. Correction, fourth. I just updated the scoreboard here in the gym.
First free throw off target from Drew Williams. He's the leading scorer in this game, 18 points. Now two of five at the line. Holy Cross in the midst of a 10-0 run to get it back to a one-point game. Williams misses them both. Parker the rebound. Now Mullins, the pass is tipped away. No, it wasn't tipped. Oh no, the officials are gonna talk about this one. The official along that sideline was turning to run up court, so he didn't see the deflection behind the play. His partner caught it, good officiating. They get this one right. Holy Cross ball, 47-46 WCA, 4.43 remaining. Roberts, Fordham, Mullins for three, short. Roberts the rebound with a right hand put back, good. He's got six. 12-0 Holy Cross run to put the Crusaders back in the lead. Williams, no. Ball loose. Parker to Gunthrop. Shot is blocked. That was Sonny Pierce. Bounce pass to Williams, tipped. Maintains possession, puts it back up. Good in the foul. And now players getting into it. Lott and Parker. Looks like the officials are gonna make sure everybody's cool. All the parties say they are cool. I'll wait for the word from the scores table on what's going on. I was just gonna put an extra point on the board here in the gym. Oh, they are going to go double technical. So Parker got the personal, and then he gets the tech. Lott gets a tech. So now they should both have four fouls. They've corrected the score in the gym to say 49-48 WCA. And I don't think either team will shoot the free throws here. There's a lot to figure out. Lott and Parker went face to face. And now they're standing next to each other on the free throw line like nothing ever happened. Officials making sure everyone knows what's going on. This will just be one free throw for Williams as he made the shot. He now has 20 points, but he just missed two free throws. Makes that one. Three point play. Parker's going to head to the bench. I think he has four fouls with that technical. I'm not going <laughs> to try to guarantee anything considering uh, scores tables on the other side of the gym. One thing we do know, WCA is up by two. 50-48, 4 remaining in the fourth. Holy Cross has the ball with Peyton Mullins in the backcourt. Now Edwin Roberts, Zach Blaschke puts it up. Yates there with the rebound. He's playing with four fouls. Sonny Pierce, pass is tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with WCA. We're under four minutes to go. Drew Williams directing traffic for WCA. 
Kennedy for three. Short, lot there for the rebound. It's knocked out of his hands and taken away. Roberts, Mullins with a high pass. Roberts again. No, Williams the rebound. Long pass ahead, Lott drags it in. Heads to the cup, puts it up, good in the foul. Another chance for a WCA three-point play. Foul is on Gunthrop, that is his third. Now both teams have 16 fouls, so we'll have free throws the rest of the way as Lott makes it a three-point play. He's got 18 points, 53-48, WCA over Holy Cross, 3.20 to go. Mullen skies to drag in that pass, Gunthrop for Roberts. Eight points for Edwin Roberts, the senior, coming off a season high 14. Three point game, 53 50. Waterbury Career Academy leads Holy Cross. Three minutes remaining. Pass is tipped, it hits the referee, and that allows the Spartans to keep possession as Yates has it taken away. He grabs it back. And Yates is fouled. Duran Fordham. Reached in and hit him on the arm. For WCA, Yates is not the player you want dribbling the ball there. But it turns out okay. As Yates will head to the line for the one and one. Parker back in for Holy Cross. Replaces Zach Blaschke. Yates at the line for the first time tonight. He has just one point in six games this season, and he misses the free throw. Mullins backs it out. Holy Cross might add numbers. They want to get the ball in Parker's hands. He's been quiet, and he's fouled. Sonny Pierce, first foul for Pierce. I have Parker with 10 points. His season low is 18. He averages almost 23. We'll get a chance to add to that number as he steps to the free throw line. He missed two free throws in the first quarter. He hasn't been back to the line since. Three point WCA lead as Parker misses another free throw. Gets his own rebound and he traveled. He was expecting contact. There was nobody there and he shuffled his feet. WCA takes over, two and a half minutes to play. They lead by three. The Spartans have undefeated number 10, Holy Cross, on the ropes. Looking for a signature win. Jumper is off from Jason Kennedy. Here's Roberts from the right side, no. Kennedy with it. 2.05 to go, Kennedy. Crosses up Fordham. Pass is thrown away. Parker with it for Holy Cross. Williams disrupts it. Fordham there for the trailer. One point game, 53-52. WCA leads Holy Cross. 1.48 to go. Timeout, Spartans. Just be a 30 second timeout. Both teams taking this opportunity to compose themselves. Both teams have three foul, three timeouts to use. WCA has committed seven fouls, Holy Cross eight. Both teams in the single bonus, so we'll be one and one on a non-shooting foul. Possession arrow is in Holy Cross's favor if we have a tie-up. Holy Cross led the entire first half. The WCA ended the first half on a 10-0 run. Got back within four. They scored the first five points of the second half. Took their first lead at 30-29. And a couple of lead changes. WC had an 18-7 advantage in the third quarter, but a 10-0 run from Holy Cross 
Got it close, they took the lead at 48-47. Slight advantage Spartans ever since. Pierce for three, bounces out. Fordham the rebound, he was pushed. Or maybe they'll just call possession. No, it's gonna be a foul. No, no, let's see. So no foul, it was just out of bounds. Last touched by WCA. So Holy Cross takes over, trailing by one, and a steal. Sonny Pierce, he's loses it. And we'll go back to Holy Cross, and the Crusaders call timeout with 1.25 to go. 53, 52, WCA leads Holy Cross. Just a 30 second timeout called by the Crusaders as they have to inbound this ball along the baseline. WCA has been using full court press to great effect in this second half. Coming down to the wire here in Waterbury. 53-52, WCA leads Holy Cross. Buck 25 on the clock. Drew Williams has 21 points to lead career. Zaire Lott just behind him at 18. Deron Fordham has nine, Evan Roberts eight. Elijah Parker, 10 to lead Holy Cross. He's got the ball in his hands, trying to break the press. Peyton Mullins, and now Parker. Gunthrop alone in the corner, misses the three. Ford on the rebound, misses, but he's fouled. If he, Official saying he was hit on the head by Drew Williams. That is four fouls now on Williams. So he's got four. Yates has four. I think Lott has four. Fordham to the line. First time he has stepped to the stripe tonight. And he misses. Holy Cross has struggled from the stripe. Second one up and good. Tied at 53. First time tonight the game has been tied and there's a minute to go. Foul. Fordham called for the foul. And it puts Sonny Pierce at the line. Pierce makes the first. He was one of two in the second quarter. The only time he stepped to the line so far tonight. Big two free throws from Sonny Pierce. 54.5 seconds to go. 55-53, career leads Holy Cross. Roberts, Gunthrop. And now Parker drives into the paint. Left hand, Elijah Parker. Ties the game at 55. 35 seconds to go, timeout, Career Academy. Full timeout. Gives the Spartans a chance to talk it over. They will have the ball. 33 seconds on the clock. 
They might try to hold it for the last shot. Holy Cross is going to play strong defensively for sure. Holy Cross has committed nine team fouls. So the next one will be two foul shots for WCA. Spartans have committed eight fouls. So the next foul will be a one and one for Holy Cross. Both teams have two timeouts that they can use if they get into a sticky situation over the final 33.4 seconds. This one is tied at 55. Kennedy, Lott, Pierce, Williams, Yates. The five on the floor for WCA. Mullins, Fordham, Gunthrop, Roberts, Parker. The Holy Cross five as Williams takes the ball in the backcourt. 30 seconds to go in the fourth. This game is tied at 55. Williams into the lane with the right hand floater, yes! Timeout, Holy Cross. 57-55, WCA in front, 16 seconds to go. Williams now has 23 points. The junior guard, fourth on the team in scoring on the year, averaging 14.8 per game. Stepping up big against Holy Cross. As he has 23, the team has 57. They lead by two, 15.9 seconds to go. Since Holy Cross called that timeout, they are down to one. Elijah Parker has been the man with the ball in his hands all season long. He was All-State last year as a freshman. Leads this team in scoring, averaging almost 23 points per game. He's been kept to about half that tonight. As Holy Cross will inbound the ball and have to go the length of the court in 15.9 seconds, trailing by two. Waterbury Career Academy still in the full court press. This is Roberts to inbound, finds Fordham. He's across half court, Deron Fordham, it's tipped away, goes right to Mullins. Roberts steps into a three, in and out, Yates with the rebound. And he's fouled with four seconds to go. That was a good look for Roberts, he can't believe it missed as that bounced in and out. Foul is on Fordham, that is his fourth, and it's the team's 10th. So it puts Dasani Yates at the line for two. He missed the front end of a one and one earlier in the period. He has just one point in the first six games this year, and that was a free throw in the season opener against Watertown. Can make this a four point game if he makes them both. First one is good for the Sonny Yates. Second one coming for Yates. That is short, it just grazes the rim. Oh no, no, the official said it didn't hit the rim and it, the trail official makes the call. Oh, and now they got to talk it over. Kennedy had the offensive rebound. If it's an inadvertent whistle, I think it's going to be WCA ball. 3.5 seconds to go. WCA up 58-55. What do they do here? 
alternate possession. The arrow will go to Holy Cross. I think that's how they're going to have to determine it. Oh, these officials not going to make any friends going out of here tonight. As WCA had grabbed the offensive rebound, the official said the shot didn't hit the rim. He conferred with his partner who's telling him he, the ball did hit the rim. And I think if they go to the alternate possession, the arrow points to Holy Cross. Yates hit one of two free throws. Grazed the rim with his second. What a tough situation. Oh, don't feel good for anybody. So now Holy Cross needs a three-pointer, assuming they'll have possession. With four seconds, they put the half second back on the clock. 58-55, Career Academy leading Holy Cross. Four seconds to go. Holy Cross will have to go the length of the court to, and make a three. Now Coach O'Leary is going to ask if the inbounder can move or if he's stationary. He will be stationary. It was not a made shot. So it will be a stationary inbounder. Zaire Lott, all six foot three of them will guard the inbounder. Roberts, Parker, Fordham, Gunthrop, Mullins, the five out there for Holy Cross. They need a th three, down by three, four seconds to go. Career Academy with the full court press on. Inbounds pass to Mullins from half court, no! And Waterbury, Career Academy, beats Holy Cross 58-55. They go to 6-1, undefeated 6-0 in the NBL. A great win for Waterbury Career Academy. They trailed by 14 points in the second quarter. Went on a 15-0 run into the start of the third. Game went back and forth at the start of the third period. Waterbury Career Academy led by seven heading to the fourth. They had the first bucket of the fourth quarter to take a nine point lead. In fact, they scored the first four points of the fourth quarter. They were up by 11. Then a 10-0 run from Holy Cross. Turned into a 12-0 run. And Holy Cross took the lead, 48-47. It was the last time they would be in front. Game was tied at 53 when Fordham made one of two free throws. Then Pierce hit two free throws to go in front. It was tied when Parker hit a layup from the left side at 55. Williams hit a runner to go up by two. Then Yates had the free throw. And Mullins missed at the buzzer. Final score, Waterbury Career Academy 58, Holy Cross 55. The Spartans now 6-1, six 6-0, and six and oh, undefeated in the NVL. Number 10, Holy Cross takes their first loss. They dropped a 6-1, and 5-1 and one in the NVL. Next up for Career Academy, Norwich Free Academy. They come up to Waterbury on Monday. You'll be able to see that game on this same YouTube channel. For Holy Cross, they're off until Tuesday when they face Ansonia at home. Thank you so much for being with us in a thrilling game that's won by Waterbury Career Academy over Holy Cross, 58-55. Until next time, for the entire DET Sports Media team, I'm Tom Felice. Thank you for being with us.